Wapak is where we go. Almost a second home for, well, really a couple of these teams. Getting going here, Dusty Lang looking to pass, but Aiden Eifert coming away with a huge sack. Then later in the first, St. Henry facing a third and short. Owen Leifeld puts his head down and gets enough for the first down. Leifeld doing that a lot this season for St. Henry. A lot of success against Tri Village last week. Mary Local forcing the punt. They get it back. Ball comes loose. And St. Henry falls on top of it. So a golden opportunity now for St. Henry. Lang finding Bennett Gells for the first down. Another fourth down coming up for St. Henry. Lang looking to pass, but hit hard. And the pass is knocked down. Marion Local takes over following the turnover on down near the second. And we finally get a score. Dylan Fleck punches in the short touchdown. Flyers up only 7-0 at halftime. Marion Local getting the ball to start the second half. And Peyton Audie capping the drive as he keeps it and gets into the end zone. Now fourth quarter, St. Henry makes it interesting. Leifeld gets the handoff and gets St. Henry on the board. Now 14-7. But the Flyers answer. Adi keeps it, fins his blockers, and he's gone. 56 yards to the house. 21 to eight. Mary Local on top, and then icing on the cake. Darren Myers sealing the deal, punching in the touchdown for the Flyers. Mary Local advancing to the state semifinal once again with the 27 to eight victory over St. Henry, a game that was a lot closer than what the score right there is gonna indicate. You can see it in its entirety tonight after the sports report, after the game, we caught up with the victorious Mary Local head coach, Tim Goodwin. Welcome back. We're joined by Coach Goodwin tonight. Coach, congratulations on another regional championship. Have to be happy with the victory. First half, the offense struggled a little bit going, but that defense really stepped up for you. Yeah, we made a couple of big stops, but uh, offensively, we just didn't have the ball the first half. Uh, you know, St. Henry played good defense. We fumbled on, like on the first play of a drive, and then, uh, you know, they kept the ball. So, you know, it kind of made us press and get frustrated a little bit. But our kids, you know, they, they like to compete, and they just hung in there. And when the offense did finally get going, Peyton Adi stepped up did everything for you at the quarterback position, even had a big punt return for you in the second half as well. That young man played a heck of a game as he has all season. Peyton Audie is a good player. He's been a good player for us for four years. Uh, uh, you know, when in doubt, put the ball in his hands. You know, uh, I'm not the smartest guy in the world, but we figured that one out. And it seemed to work out well for you. It's worked out for you for the last couple of years as well. So now we're moving on to the state, state semifinals. Looking forward, obviously, you try to keep the kids from looking too far ahead. Obviously, you've got to feel like maybe there might be some unfinished business, but got to be excited to continue playing. Oh, for sure. And, and we get to practice on Thanksgiving, you know, which and we make a big deal about that, you know, uh, even though it's just another work day. But, we, you know, we, we make a big deal. So it's a fun week, uh, you know, and it depends on uh, who we're playing. It might be a new opponent in Hopewell Loudon. Uh, we'll see. Um, but, yeah, there's nothing really to look forward to because you don't know who you'd play even if you were fortunate enough to win. So you just focus. All right, well, Coach, congratulations. Another big win. Marion Local going to continue to move on once again. Seems like this is just a re repetition after year after year, but it's got to feel special every time you guys get there. It really does. And, you know, uh, and last year, you know, we, we uh, got upset by against New Bremen, um, you know, and, and that, that made us hungry, you know. Uh, we didn't like that. And, uh we were done November 6th last year, you know, and uh, our, these kids wanted to keep playing for at least for another week. All right, well, we appreciate the time, Coach. Congratulations again, and go enjoy the team. All right, thank you. Thank you, Coach. Good. Thanks, Nate Garlock. Hearing from head coach Tim Goodwin, who found out Hopewell Loudon got the victory over LCC. So Marion Local, Hopewell Loudon will meet up next week. Newark Catholic, Warren JFK meeting on the other side of Division Seven. Of course, Warren JFK in this spot. Uh, last year, they were the team that uh, defeat or lost to New Bremen in the at state last year. So.